In this lesson, we're going to look at the alternative way to do sections and elevations. Um, I don't like this method at all. Uh, you might like it, um, and even if you don't like it, you may come across it, so it's good to know how to work with it. We zoom in on this drawing here. This is not a drawing of mine, this is from someone else. Uh, we have a, a floor plan here, there's some contours, uh, lines, and a bit of a building. Um, probably, uh, I'm not sure whether that's a basement or what that is, but. Anyway, if we then go to the side here, you can see we have, I'll just delete that yellow, we have a, an elevation, and it's on its side. If we go down the bottom, we have an elevation that's in the correct um, orientation, that's a bit easier to look at. Over here again, we have another uh, elevation on its side, and up the top here we have an elevation upside down. So basically what they've done is, Similar to the previous thing, you can put an X-Ref right in the middle, but instead of having multiple X-Refs like we did, you'd have one X-Ref area where they're just overlaid over top of each other, and that's it. And you can just turn on the X-Refs on and off as you need to. And um, yeah, basically, you can then draw, rotate the screen and draw your elevations. So the way to do that is we're using the UCS. So what we type is UCS press enter then we type Z because we're going to rotate on the Z coordinate and press enter it's going to ask us how much we want to rotate in this case we'll say 90 degrees and you can see that it's um, rotated now sometimes you need to type the word plan and then plan again to rotate the the correct orientation. Uh, the way this drawing set up, that wasn't so much the case. But what we'll do is we'll use a clean drawing and see how that works. So we'll go to this drawing here. Now, if you remember from the previous lesson, we had um, level one and level two. Level one, I think, was the red, and level two being the green floor plans. So the way we would go about setting up something like that is we would just put in these two X refs right in the middle and let's leave them be where they are, right where they are. Then we could draw a rectangle. Now that rectangle could represent our ceiling line or floor line. Just make sure you give yourself enough um, space. And then I could offset that perhaps, we'll say 3000. So we've got a ceiling line and a floor line. So that what that means is that when we rotate the paper, these, these ceiling lines and floor lines will always be you know, in the right order. So, if I was to draw, I was to draw some lines down. Yeah. Oops. That one's a bit off. I'll just try that again. Okay. And I'm just going to draw a sort of roof profile and just trim these lines. Delete that one. Uh, oh, look. We'll just leave it the way it is right now. It's not. It's not correct, but. Anyways, just for the sake of the, uh, the exercise, what I'm going to show you. So now what we want to do is we want to work on this elevation on this side, or perhaps this side. So what we're going to do is type UCS, press space or enter, type Z, type 90, and now we type plan, press enter, and then we press enter again. And as you can see, we've now rotated the screen 90 degrees. There was our original um, elevation. So we could just draw another one here, some lines here, so, okay, oh, I'll trim that off, now we're going to do it again, UCS, Z, 90 degrees, and type plan, enter, enter, and as you can see, we're rotating the screen, and what it means is, if we do update this um, floor plan, either one in the middle, it'll you know, it'll just be the one area that updates and we can just ro rotate our screen around to adjust our um, sections or elevations. Uh, the downside to this is we have basically, we're able to do four elevations. Sometimes you need to do uh, more than that, uh, depending on the project. And this method doesn't work terribly well with that. And the other thing too is if we wanted to now do a section, what we'd need to do is offset these these lines further, so that was, so we could um, just offset, 
3,000. So now this would be our new ceiling line, and this would be our floor line, our ceiling line, floor line, and then we could rotate the screen and draw our section here and have our elevation there. And I personally don't like that because I like to have everything running in the same straight line. Um, it's a lot easier to, 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 to draw things along in the same line to see whether they match up or not. Um, this method, I find you mucking around too much with fiddling around with the screen, and you can quite easily get it wrong with getting something to line up. So anyway, that's that method. So I just thought I'd show you, um, and we'll move on to the next lessons.